Hello YouTube fam, how y'all doing? It's your Uncle Tim. This is Uncle Tim Rants and Reviews, the channel where I ran and I review. Man, it's getting real out here. The shit is getting real. What I seen today is just beyond belief. Shit is astronomical, man. It's just crazy. I couldn't believe what I seen today, man. What I seen today was I seen the cops tearing down homeless people encampments you know where they have 10 city at they were tearing the shit down they were cleaning they had cleaning people out there scrubbing shit getting stuff out of the way so what are they doing with this homeless population we bring in another homeless population then we got more homeless people trying to get into the united states how the hell is this working who's paying for all of this us we feeding these people three meals a day some of them are getting food stamps. They are getting, uh, shit. They got cell phones. Fam, I'm trying to understand. They got bikes. They got clothes. Dude, I'm trying to figure this shit out. People here who work hard every damn day don't got this shit. They don't even got three meals a day. I'm working hard as hell to put food on the damn table. And you putting food on people's table for free? And what we doing to the homeless population that's here? They displacing them. They taking them off the trains. They are taking them out of the homeless shelters and they're putting them on the street. Then they're taking them off of certain parts of the street. Where the hell do you think these people supposed to go? You took all of the resources that these people had at hand and gave them away to people who ain't even citizens. How the hell do this supposed to work? Now, look, after seeing what I seen today, my stance changed on that, man. What I seen them doing was fucked up. That is bad. It's cold as hell outside. These people have nowhere to stay. But yet instead, we worried about other damn people. Our taxpayer dollars should be going to the people who's here, who already citizens, man, who need help. Why are we helping every damn body else? I understand everybody needs help. And man, at this point, man, I'm fed up with this shit. You know, they're talking about placing them here, placing them there. Man, they're getting them out of parks. They're getting them out of these um, these uh, centers and everything because they said they're tired of them there. They said they don't want them there no more. So they're moving them off the north side. They're moving them off of the Hispanic part of town. Man, they said they don't want them. They said it'd be too much crime. And I'm like, huh? Now they're trying to move them into the black neighborhood. They're suing the city. The east side, I mean, the west side and the south side is suing the city of Chicago. Dude, but they're still trying to place them on the south. I said, damn. I said, why can't you just leave people the fuck alone? I said, why is it every time you turn around, you trying to place some transient ass people somewhere? People are tired. People are angry. You know, people who come here sometimes who come here just like this, but they come, they stay with family, they get on their feet, they contribute, they pay taxes, they file for citizenship. What the hell is this? These people got first dibs at becoming citizens. Ukrainians, Venezuelans, they have first dibs. How the hell does this work? What are we doing here? What messages are we sending? That border is open to Venezuela. The minute those Haitians step down off those ships onto the shore they deported their ass right back to haiti but what is this what are we doing here is it whereas we're just trying to bring certain people here these people have health cards whereas they could actually go to the damn doctor who's paying for all this shit then a lot of them are complaining if they knew if it was going to be like this, they would have stayed where they were at. Would you? I didn't know it would be that cold in Chicago. You didn't look up what Chicago was. You just, I'm going to go somewhere. It's going to be better. They're not going to put you in hotels and feed you caviar. They said some of the people are throwing the food away. They don't like it. It's not what they want. I'm like, shit, you begging. You coming here with nothing. You're begging. And you want somebody to just put their hands out. Now, Trump said, look, I'm going to build a damn wall. Now, I was all against it at first. I said, man, this brother going too damn far with this. He took it into a whole nother direction. Look, I'm for everybody. This country is a whole melting pot 
But the shit I seen today, that ain't right. That ain't right at all. Dude, they were tearing them damn encampments down. They were moving the people out of the place, man, because people were said they were tired of seeing them. And, you know, they were scared for their safety. And I'm like, but you got all these damn Venezuelans over here in tents. But the people who been here, who clean up behind their damn self, you getting rid of them motherfuckers. You're like, no, nah, I'd rather have them over here. You got what you asked for. Now, they're talking about changing the law here. You know, making... Chicago, no longer a sanctuary city. They they changing shit. They want to change it because people ain't for that shit no more. And the number one people that were at that meeting the other day were Hispanics complaining, saying they don't want them here. You know, and I'm like, wow, you know. You know, I thought everybody would have been for helping people. But you know what? This shit is a little too much. It goes above and beyond, man. It's, you know, like, look, I'm okay with you for a while. But the cost to feed all these damn people and they study coming and they study coming and they're having kids while they're crossing the border. I'm like, damn. I'm like, no, I'm talking about seriously, fam. These people are giving birth on U.S. soil for their kids to be U.S. citizens. I understand the concept, but I'm going to say this. There's going to be a lot of backlash for this. There's going to be a lot of backlash. Biden has said he's fighting for Trump not to be president again. Look, I'm not calling um, Trump an answer or nothing like that. You know, he said some things people want to hear. But I'm going to say this to you and I'm going to say it again. When we say illegal citizens that he's going to deport. That's anybody who's not a citizen of this country, regardless if they're paying taxes, paying for everything here. The question is, what does that stop? What type of parameters he have on this? Now, you know, again, a lot of people entered the U.S. legally. The Venezuelans entered the U.S. legally. Because they're escaping the turmoil that the U.S. started in Venezuela. Dude, allegedly, there is a lot of shit. Anytime the country, you know, as the U.S., let people here and try to get them citizenship, they did something over there. They all of a sudden basically saying, forget Ukraine right now. They're not helping them anymore. They don't want to help. They don't want to lend money. They don't want to do this no more. They're tired. So all focus is off that. What's really going on? Keep that in mind. When you constantly see shit happen and shit don't make no sense to you, keep looking. There's something deeper going on. There's something more crazier going on. People do not let you see their true face, man, until shit just jump off and get froggy, man. It's getting froggy as hell right now. This is why I tell everybody, pay attention, man. It's getting real. You know, um... A lot of the Venezuelans saying, you know, they don't like the treatment that they're getting here. You know, they're treated like they're not citizens. And I'm like, you're not citizens. You know, like you're not paying for anything. You you didn't have to work for any of this stuff. This is why people are so mad now. You know, I know y'all talking about when I said we need a stimulus. Y'all like who don't pay for that? We paying for this shit already. This is a clusterfuck. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse. Anytime that you paying this type of money out a day and businesses were helping out feeding the people, uh, trying to feed them like three square meals a day. And today was like, look, I can't do that. That costs you that much. There's nothing coming in that we could actually offset this with. You know, you write this shit off at the end of the year, but shit for right now, we're not making no money. So we got to stop. And they're like, wait, hold on. Y'all stopping? Yeah. Dude, this shit is real. Trump said, look, I'm just going to deport motherfuckers. I'm going to close the border. We're tired. He said, as America, we just tired. We need to leave these motherfuckers alone. Everybody who's coming here with their hand out. No, you should be coming with something to bring, to give. I have to just keep putting your hand out, man. I'm just tired. Man, please. 
This is something that we all are missing, man. There's so much shit going on that you do not know. There's so much of shit going on that I don't know. Man, you know what? If they telling us that the country already is overpopulated, which is not, how could you afford to bring in damn near 100,000 people? I'm confused. If, I'm going to say 50 to 100,000 people, how could you afford to do that? If the country is already flooded with people, these people need to get jobs. These people need to pay taxes. You know, these people should be able to learn English. You know, this is the only country where people come and we cater to them. Bring your ass here and learn English. You know, I'm not disrespectful, man. I'm not an ass. My heart goes out to everybody, but the shit that I see happening to American citizens here is horrible as hell. You know what? I'm looking at the encampments that they got on TV right now, where they got them lined up to enter the border. Oh. So Texas law been signed into the border crossing. If they find a legal citizen and, you know, they're an immigrant, they deport your ass. So migrants in custody, up to six months in jail, 20 years in prison for repeat offenses, people tired. And see, this is what I'm trying to say. Greg Abbott has signed a bill in Texas, the governor. Like I said, at this particular point, I told a lot of you all, people would get tired. And it already has. Resources are being deplete, depleted. And, you know, there's just too much. Everybody's tired. And Biden said, hey, this is something that we need to do. No, we don't. We need to just stop for a second. Poland did the same thing with Ukraine. Now Ukrainians are talking about if it wasn't for them, Poland wouldn't run. Poland was running without y'all. 10 million people came into Poland. 10 million Ukrainians came into Poland. Do you know they gave them benefits? They gave them housing vouchers. They gave them food vouchers. Do you know that? 10 million people. Poland had 30 million people in it already. You add 10 million into it. Damn, you almost basically trying to overpopulate the population. I'm talking about you trying to take over. And this shit is crazy as hell. If you notice, people are not giving to the Ukraine anymore. People tired. A lot of shit that was popping off on the internet saying that a lot of the people that you see that were getting shit, you know, a lot of people here were donating stuff. And the Polish community got upset and said, we're not donating anymore because the things that we are donating, they're selling on eBay. Shit is crazy, man. Then a lot of people that were coming here, they were getting social security numbers because they were first in line to get like, you know, the green cards and shit like that. Right. Uh, they were getting social security numbers. A lot of them were selling them for $50,000 and going back to the Ukraine. It's crazy how this shit is working, ain't it? They learned how to work the system. It was a lot of Ukrainians that came here and worked the shit out of the system. You know, where they were getting um, HUD um, or Section 8, and they were getting CETA to pay their utilities. So just imagine, you getting all this shit going, and you got so much going, fam. It's just to the point now where you're just sitting here like, this is just too much. It's overdone. You know, it's time for a change, man. And right now, people are, you know, scared. They're going for the next thing. And I don't know if Trump would be a good fit again, you know, because what's happening now, he has a lot of issues going on, man. He done a lot of shit, man. Man, bro ain't even trying to hide the shit he does. See, that's the thing that I have the problem with Trump. See, I understand people were like, you know, but see, it's the Democrats. You know, the Republican Party was started by African-American man. That shit is crazy as hell. <laughs> when you find out how history works and shit, you be like, what? Like, so it's crazy how this shit works. You know, I'm just don't say, man, it's a lot of shit going on here. And a lot of people don't get it. 
If you overlook this shit, man, and you don't pay no attention, you will get got. You know, they're saying that the um, Venezuelans are committing crimes and shit like that. Uh, there have been instances of prostitution and shit like that. It's a lot going on, man. They're blending with, you know, regular people, man, because, again, you want a place to live. You don't give a damn if you don't speak the language as the other person. Shit, you gonna give up something. So you like, shit, I'm gonna give up this ass. You know, it's cold as hell out here. Man, I've been hearing a lot of people talking about this shit, man. It's crazy, man. At work, we had a conversation about this. Man, people of all colors were just chiming in. They were tired, man. They like, damn, you see what they did today, right? You see what they out there doing right now. And dude, it's just crazy. I just want you to just realize when I talk about Chicago and I talk about some of the shit that you see, they spraying down walls and stuff. They, they, they breaking yards and shit, you know, where the homeless people were, you know, at. It's crazy. But to later, fam, look up all of this information. Don't go take my word. Look it up. I'm not sitting here lying to you. It's just, it's frustrating. Pay attention. You know, sometimes shit ain't what you want it to be. Sometimes shit ain't what you think it is. But to later, peace out.